joy, joy, joy. Welcome to Angel Feathers. Today, I'm so excited to introduce you to a friend of mine, Coach Nick. And Coach Nick is a TV host. He's a trainer for healers and coaches. And he's a teacher of Vedic philosophy. Welcome to the show, Nick. Thank you so much, Swami. Appreciate being here. Tell us uh, your story of when you talk with your angels or God or what the term I believe you prefer is God. Tell us of, of your biggest time and how it changed your life. Sure. So I was going through a time period where I was trying to quit smoking marijuana, which I had been doing for 10 years consistently. Uh, I basically was high for 10 years <laughs> and uh, I decided I wanted to, I knew from from a personal and spiritual development that had to go. And so I was going through uh, a time where I was trying to quit this and it was very difficult. I was experiencing withdrawal sy symptoms and very, um, I couldn't wake up, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do, I, I was very stuck. I went to see a shaman that lived close to me locally and in that healing session of that shaman, I felt a massive weight or energy lift from my chest during that. And I remember tears coming down my eyes and I had felt that presence, that God presence within me and all around me. And I had realized that I had been born again or had been awakened, many different terms to describe this type of experience. For the next few days after that, I was in a such a present state. I could feel the aliveness of everything around me. There was no separation between me and the other rooms. And that's when God showed up to me in the form of Krishna through the name Krishna and through his form Krishna. And I began to study and now teach Vedic philosophy and became a disciple of the Hare Krishnas. Okay, well, wow. so uh, two questions. I'll ask the second question first. How has that impacted or changed your life for you? <laughs> wow, geez. Uh, you know, it, 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 everything has shifted <laughs> since then. I mean, like it's it, it, you know it's it, it, just a massive transformation you know no, i'm still the same in the sense of who we are the essence of who we are is always there it's always been there so my, i'm still the same guy but i think i'm more of the same if that means anything i yeah. am liberated from different sort of limitations or ways of seeing the world that really caused me a lot of suffering and over time especially that happened a number of years ago that what i described there so over time it's just allowed me to go deeper into my own spirituality which has affected every aspect of my life my health my relationships my haircut and my my artwork <laughs> All right, just everything. So it's uh, only affected everything. <laughs> That's it, only everything. <laughs> now, when you said you uh, Krishna appeared before you, can you describe that? Did you visually see him? Did, was it a feeling, a knowing? How how was that experience for you? Yeah, uh, you no, know, very very practically. Uh, I I had the Bhagavad Gita written by who is our acharya at uh, our organization ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Um, I had his Gita already sitting there on, I had met some Hare Krishna monks, I was very intrigued, and I, I had the Gita there sitting on my bookshelf, but I never read it. But after that experience, it was the book that was just like calling to me, like I just, I couldn't, couldn't take my eyes off of it. And so I read the Gita, and I put down the Gita and said, oh, well, that's it, I'm good, I'm home, that makes sense <laughs> to me. And, uh, and that was it. And then... Then, then the Hare Krishna mantra started showing up on the very mystical platform of YouTube. Uh, so <laughs> you, <laughs> the YouTube became this, this place where I started listening to the Maha Mantra and the Hare Krishna mantra. And I had no idea who Krishna was. I just a blue guy with a flute and I was very enrolled by him. And then circumstance had it where uh, maybe uh, maybe a year after that of doing my own YouTube research and studying the Gita on my own, I ended up in Toronto, Canada, where I met Bhakti Mart Swami. And Bhakti Mart Swami is a Hare Krishna monk, and he has become a guru and my my Maharaj. And so through there, I started studying at the temple there. 
and that was a few years ago and life has now just guided me that way so it's not that it was a very mystical it was very practical uh, but it was uh, in the same time very synchronicitous well finding the the YouTube ashram of Krishna, I think that's kind of <laughs> I'm a little mystical. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, uh, I really believe that God could use anything to bring right. people to spiritual awakening, including social media. And I think that God is using social media, like we're all using social media in very powerful ways. This is the TV show is on Facebook Live. So absolutely right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your 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 journey, your arc, and the results of your experience of talking with your your God, your angels. Coach Nick, thanks for being here. Thank you all for watching. Wishing you all joy, joy, joy. Mm -hmm.